Lesson number two, number work. Smaller and bigger numbers continue. Tai, tell me if we have two three digit numbers, how do we tell which is bigger and which is smaller? Let's take some easy examples. Take the numbers 500 and 300. Which of these is the bigger numbers? 500s are bigger than 300. So, 500 greater than 300. Now, let's look at 325 and 625. Here the units and the tens of the two numbers are equal but 600s are bigger than 300. So, 625 is greater than 325. What to do if the units, tens and hundreds digit in two numbers are all different? In 495, the number in the hundreds place is 4. It is smaller than the hundreds in 812. Now, this is important children. What is the next whole hundred number after 495? That's 500 and 495 less than 500. That's right, Tony. 812 has 800. We know that 500 less than 800 and 800 less than 812. So, 495 less than 812. Got it? Yes. Not too difficult if we work it out like this. It means that if two three-digit numbers are given, the one with the bigger digit in the hundreds place is the bigger numbers. number. Which is the bigger and which is the smaller number? First example, 721 box 589 and answer is 721 greater than 589. Second example, 423 box 723 and answer is 723 greater than 423. Third example, 600 box 497. Answer is 600 greater than 497. But what if the digits in the hundreds place of both the numbers are the same? Let's take 718 and 720. Selma, that's easy too. If the hundreds are the same, look at the numbers made by the tens and units. We must compare 20 and 18 in 720 and 718. Right, 20 is greater than 18. So, 720 greater than 718. That's correct, Sunu. If the hundreds in two numbers are the same, then the number with the bigger tens is the bigger number. And if the hundreds as well as the tens are equal, then look at the units to decide which is the bigger number.